Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Alliance Redwoods. My name is Rafiki and it is my pleasure to walk in the woods with you today. It's a lovely afternoon here in Alliance Redwoods. But today, what I'd like to do with you is take a little bit of a different pace. We're going to tell you a little bit of a legend. There are many legends that surround the Bolin Knot. But the tale I have to tell you today is a story of true friendship. Rafiki is about to tell you the story of the rabbit and the tree. Without further ado, let us begin. Follow Rafiki and let's tell you a story. The Legend of the Bolai. The Tale of the Rabbit and the Tree. Like every good story told by a naturalist, this story begins in a forest. And in this forest there was a tree, and from this tree there grew some roots. And beneath these roots there was a hole in the ground, and in this hole in the ground there lived a rabbit. Now this tree had become like a best friend to the rabbit, and in the cool of the afternoon the rabbit would lean back against the mossy roots to share tea and biscuits and listen to the old tree hum in the breeze. The two would stay up late together on clear nights, staring up into the evening sky, counting the stars as they came out. On the day of our story, a visitor happened upon the tree with the hole in the roots where the rabbit lived. And stepping out into the light, the rabbit, startled, froze in fright. Thereby the tree came calling now, the visiting fox did courtly bow. Seeing the tea and biscuits for two, how kind a rabbit, it's like you knew. Now quite surprised by the fox well-mannered, a twitch of the ear the rabbit stammered. Why, these were for my friend the tree. We sit and sing a while, you see. With curling lips, the visitor insisted. With the flick of its tail, the fox persisted. What, with some tea, a tree, my friend? But here from me will thee defend? Clattering the tea tray hit the floor as the fox moved towards the door. Friends, indeed, you cut me off. You may think twice before you scoff. And with a skip of the rabbit's feet, quickly round the tree did leap. Aha, to your friend you flee. Run, cause you can't hide from me. Swift round the tree the fox did follow, chased the rabbit into the hollow. And with a heave the tree did groan, a sight the fox had never known. The trunk shot up towards the light, and then did seal the hole up tight. There the fox with grunt and growl did let out a bitter howl. Oh, I should have known the rabbit was right. I'll try again another night. Breathing relief to racing soul, the rabbit sat safe there in the hole. That was close today, old friend. I thought I'd surely met my end. Then from within the dimming dark, a kind laughter from in the bark. Ha ah, friends, indeed we are. That one was trouble from the start. And so you see, when you're in trouble, call quick a friend near on the double. If like the rabbit a tree befriend, find neath its boughs your happier end. The End Thank you for listening to the story of the rabbit and the tree. We hope you enjoyed this story from Rafiki's Book of Not Fables. Remember to be a friend to your neighbor. And of course, stay curious. Hope you get outdoors. And we will see you in a future episode where Rafiki will teach you how to tie a legendary bowline knot. See you then. Oh, now we're recording.